Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Cardboard Moses. It's that time again. We're going to be doing 2018 Heritage Baseball. Four box break number three. eBay style. So let's do it. Now before I do that, I need to take this off of the... Uh, out of the store. Which is now done. And anyway, let's go ahead and wish you guys a little luck. Good luck, everybody. And there it is. Good luck, everybody. So, not sure how many of you guys have actually seen Heritage, but it's actually a very nice product. It's uh, obviously brings back the 1969 Tops design, which is old school. You know, probably bring back some uh, childhood memories for some of you guys and gals. Uh, but very nice stuff, man. What we're looking for in this is not so much autographs, because, and truth be told, in one case, you'll probably find three autographs in a case. And there's 12 boxes in a case, so about less than a third of the case contains autographs. It's mostly patches that come in this stuff, right? But that's not the main attraction in this. The main attraction are the variations. Dudes and dudettes, there's over 100 different variations in this product. So you're probably saying to yourself, well, damn, how am I going to know what's what? Very simple. If you go to CardboardConnection.com and look up 2018 Heritage Baseball, you're going to come across uh, an article that tells you what the variations are. Now, I have a nice little handy dandy little... Uh, post-it note that I keep that lets me know what the error cards are. Uh, basically what we're looking for is the last two numbers of the code provided on the back of the card. Uh, I'm going to open up a pack here. I mean, you can't really see it because of the focus on the camera, but that tiny little code right there says, it says code, hashtag CMP, blah, 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 blah. Last two numbers on that are 65. That lets me know it's just a base card. So, why is this product difficult to break? Because the only way for you to know for sure whether uh, what variation it is is to actually look at the code. And I'm going to be honest with you people, we'd be here forever if I was to do that. And I'm not going to do that, at least not in the video. What will happen though is after the video is done, me and my sorters go through every single card and make sure that any variations, which, like I said, we do keep, we, we, we know what's what. Uh, we separate it, we sleeve it, and we top load it if it's an error card or, or any of the funky variations, all right? So, for time purposes, I'm not going to go fast. But I've ripped enough of this product that I'm fairly comfortable with it that I know what I'm looking at. Uh, of course, like I said, the only 100% surefire way to know is to look at the code. I'm not going to do that because it's going to take us forever. So like I said, we'll go through it. We're going to obviously everything ships, so you don't have to worry about that. But any errors, nicknames, variations, short prints, super short prints, etc. Do get sleeved and we'll get top loaded. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mike, it, it does take forever, my dude. It does take forever. The reason why that one took forever, though, was because I was honestly learning the product as I went. Um, and now that we got another full case uh, filled, let me see. The first case took me about two and a half hours. I think this next one is probably going to take an hour and a half. I mean, four boxes takes me about 45 minutes, and that's if I, uh, you know, don't really talk to you guys in the chat and, and stuff and just straight rip it. But, you know, I, I know I got I to gotta put a little, bit, uh, a little bit of entertainment value into it. I hear you, Mike. I hear you. Like I said, guys, visit CardboardConnection.com, uh, search 2018 Heritage Baseball, and you're going to find the... Uh, a little column that shows 
the different variations and the code numbers and stuff like that. Uh, Logan, I ch I'll check payment here in a bit. I took it off the store already because I didn't want anybody to buy into it. That would have been a, a whole nother shit, shit, shit storm. And uh, not to mention, I mean, I also have a full case random division break in there as well, people. And I also have personal boxes available if you're interested. Now, Brandon, I got your payment. Tomas, I got your payment. Edward, I got your payment. Jerry, uh, I got your payment. Logan and Josh, I also got your payments. So I have everybody's payment. Uh, all I got to do now is uh, do the filler. Now, check this out. It's a Clubhouse Collection Relic Card of Mr. Blackman. Number 91 out of 99. Oh, dude, you're going to love Encased Football, Mike. I'm not sure. Are you, are you in Encased Football? That's pretty sweet for the Rockies. Not a bad way to start. Uh, now, there, it does say on the box it's either going to be an autograph or a relic per box. Uh, it's usually a relic. The autographs are really hard to hit. However, I have had a, a box where I had a patch and an autograph in it. So things things are possible, people. Things are possible. So there you go, Rockies. And here we go with the brick. All right, everybody, good luck to you. Yeah, there's a few cards I'm gonna have to random. These sometimes have like multiple teams on them. Ryan Braun, cardboard Jesus' favorite player. See, I found a short print. That's a base short print, code 85. Ryan Braun of the Brewers. See, I've done enough where I, I kind of know a little bit, but of course, you know. I'm still learning it like like most of us are. Dude, over a hundred variations, it's it's kind of insane. Uh that has to get random. The the sickest card I've pulled out of this is a one of one Johnny Bench uh RPA. They can, well it's not a RPA, it's not a rookie patch auto, but it is a patch auto. A one of one Johnny Bench. Gorgeous card. These are the Deco Edge for the Rockies. Who's that? Arenado? Yep. I've hit a, a couple. You got to watch out for these two. Because uh, just to show you guys how your boy be knowing. Yes, Michael. Uh, if it's a rookie cup error, it'll say 1969 instead of 2017. So you, you really got to be like on your P's and Q's. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Michael, uh, I'm going to do PYT. Number two, after the encase break. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys. That thing is going to take forever. And uh, and the encase break, honestly, is super quick. So I'm going to do the, uh, the heritage break around midnight. This is probably an action image. Let me double check. Indeed it is. Code 01. That lets me know it's an action image card for Francisco Lindor. Of the Indians. Uh, yes, Mike. Yes, it was. That's also the same break where I hit an Otani. I mean, I, I post pictures of our stuff on Instagram. If you guys don't follow on Inst follow us on Instagram, then shame on you. You might want to do that. You know, hit a poster for the Angels last night out, out of a personal box. I'm not exactly sure what that's worth, but that's pretty fucking cool. By the way, that's our Rip City cards. Please follow us on Instagram. If you don't, uh, shame on you. Anyway, here's a one on one Johnny Bench, the the one I was talking about. Pretty sweet. 
fucking there's a, a nickname card there's the the dual oreo card uh you're talking about mike and a, a fucking an otani bro each case that i've opened by the way has had an otani um with the exception of this case in in the ebay case have not hit an otani yet that might change tonight because this is the last uh the last third of that case of this case anyway for ebay so far i've pulled in otani at least one otani in uh in each case that i've done i did one personal box i did a, a case for just straight personals hit an otani in that and the the pyt that i had in the store also had an otani in it bryce harper there for the nationals I want to go to Japan too, Death Amongst All. My thing is though, if I, if I go to Japan, I'm probably not, not going to come back. Got a Mookie Betts Deco Edge for the Red Sox. That's what they call these cards, I'm told. They look more like big ass postage stamps to me. I gotta like pause on some of them because you really gotta pay attention to them if you want to catch them just just looking at them these flashback cards by the way if we hit like any musician or or a celebrity those get randomed all right so that flashback card also will be randomed yeah I know they have they have all types of crazy stuff in Japan got a little chromey Number to 999, Brian Dozier of the Twins. Number to 999. Different teams. Got to random that. Got to random that too. And that. All right, we got one box down. Do they really Death Amongst All? I mean, I don't know why you would want to visit that, but, I mean, hey, different strokes for different folks, I guess. I'm fucking with you, Death Amongst All. You know, you know this, you know this. Plus, you're bigger than me. I, I don't want you to destroy me. Well, you know, since we filled a second PYT, I'm going to throw a third PYT in the store. Fuck it. See, we got cases on top of cases of this stuff. Because it's really nice. Box toppers will get opened at the end of the break. And bro, and death amongst all. That's and that's when you and then that's probably when you realized that you got yourself a keeper, dude. I would love to go to. I'm serious. I would not come back. I would not. This guy, Death Amongst All.
I don't know, Death Among Stall. Japanese people are, for a lack of better words, crazy. I think it's the opposite. I don't think you could handle the Japanese. I got refunded. Is there a Jessica in this in in the room in here right now by any chance? I just checked my email and seen a little uh, little message there. Well, Death Amongst All, you realize Koreans and Japanese are two completely different. Uh, Nations, right? I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. Box number two. Ooh, it's a purple hot box. Miguel Sano are the twins. Purple. I'm not exactly sure what these uh, purple cards are numbered to. And they don't exactly have a code on the back. I mean, just code 90, which is, you know, what they do with their chromes. So I don't know what they're, they're numbered to. These, apparently, though, with the black border... Are numbered to 50 from what I hear that's code 65 so technically it's a base card but the uh, that black border makes it uh makes it funky Blue Jays Josh Donaldson with that purple stuff Rangers, Elvis Andrus. The Deco Edge for Ahmed Rosario. Mets. Otani. I'm sure whoever bought the Angels would love an Otani. So come out to play. Jose Abreu. For the White Sox. Gotta random that. For the Blue Jays, Kendris Morales, purple. Well, there's the patch right here. John Lester of the Cubs, the patch. A little sneaky two colors on that. There you go. What else we got? Brewers at Davies. Then and now, two different teams. Got to random that. For the Braves, we have Freddie Freeman. Will Myers, Padres. Flashback card, Will ran on that. Should I stay or should I go? 
that purple stuff came to Mayeda of the Dodgers. Get the pile organization going there. For the Yankees, we have Andujar and Frazier. Rookies. Purple Yankees. I still can't get over the fact that Stanton got moved to the to the Yankees of all places, dude. Ah, classic. Just it's oh, Marlins. I want the. I wonder what the Marlins are gonna look like this year. Pretty much got an an entire new team basically. Chris Sale of the Red Sox purple. I don't like how they stand. Some of them stand like that with their hands on their hip. That's a base short print. I found it. Because I got I got that eye. I got that eye. Uh, Pappy, you talking to me? Probably not. Ego Rockies, Antonio Senzatella. Well, a a a a Ron, luckily for you, we still got two boxes to go through and the rest of this box. So there's still opportunity to get some Cardinal loving. Mariners, Nelson Cruz. Well, damn, Pappy. Fuck you, too. Nolan Arenado, Deco Edge, Rockies. I want to come across one of those uh, error cards or like a, a nickname. Something cool. Manny Machado Orioles. That's a base. The McCullers. Yeah, sometimes they're they're hard to they're hard to catch. And I love and I love dishing it back too, Pappy. Uh, we got Smith and Rosario of the Mets, rookie stars. Bro, what is it with all these dudes with their hands on their hip? Like, what the hell? Kyle Schwarber, Cubs. Purple. Uh, what baseball product starts with an E? Yeah, Elite Extra Edition. Actually starts with three E's. Zach Grinky Diamondbacks purple. For the Angels, Albert Pujols. Look at that. Look at the mane on that guy. Bryce Harper, Nationals. Purple stuff. You got a case of something you, you didn't even know the name of coming to you? Nice. It's not bad, Pappy. Um it, it is it is the the uh the rookies in their college uniforms, you know, for the most part. But on card autos and eight autographs per box in Elite, that's pretty decent. Dallas Keiko Astros. Check this out. An action image of Chris Bryant of the Cubs. Code 01. Your boy be knowing. Your boy be knowing. Code 01 is an action image. There you go. Cubs. Chris Bryant. Three different teams. Got to random that. We got Daniel Murphy of the Nationals. Teams. We got Corey Kluber, Indians. We got a flashback card there. Again, we'll get random between all teams. Matt Olson.
Marcel Ozuna. Wait, they straight did like a color swap on that picture for the Cardinals. Wow. That's Marcel Ozuna of the Marlins. I wonder if I can. I'll see his card at some point anyway. Yadier Molina with the refractor for the Cardinals. That's to 569. Pretty sweet. Wilson Contreras of the Cubs with that purple stuff. All right. Got two boxes down, so we're about halfway on the break here. We've got two boxes left. Let's keep it moving. Got to be careful with this stuff because I don't want to mess up the uh, the posters or whatever they have in here. And in this case, a box topper. Uh, Death Amongst All, if I were you, I would... Open them and then sell them on eBay. Because if you hit the right player, it is moolah. Put some stuff to the side here. Death Among Star, you do you you sh you do like something on Twitch? I'm assuming. What do you do? Uh, well, you obviously the number one pick. So Royce Lewis, uh, Brendan McKay, Helio Ramos are uh, are a few names that come to mind. I'll be honest. I mean my my baseball knowledge is not what it should be. But it's 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 getting there. It's getting there. What do you mostly play on Twitch? I'm I'm assuming Fortnite, because that's what everybody does. Oh, no Otani's yet. Uh, DL. I'm assuming you have the twins. A plethora of games. Okay, I see you. I'm going to ignore the fact that you didn't spell plethora correctly, but I do appreciate you switching up the, uh, the vocabulary. Gotcha. The, uh, wait, did I, what did I say? Twins? It's been a long day, Dio. Forgive me. You've been playing Titanfall recently. From what I hear, it's a really good game. Really good, underrated. All I, all I did, I just played the demo. Well, Dio Remix, if you're looking for Heritage Baseball 4 box break number 3 for eBay, then this is the correct break for you. You know what I've been playing lately, Death Amongst All? Monster Hunter World. Oh, my God. That game is taking over my life. Uh, DL, let's, let's, let's make it happen, baby. Let's make it happen. Dude, Otanis are selling ridiculous. Dude, I seen an Otani sell last night on eBay for like $5,000, bro. Shit is stupid. Dude, Death of Unstall. Well, you have PS4, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do have PS4. That's all I play right now. 
Like, I can't wait to go home. I'm probably going to leave the office at like 3, 4 in the morning. But I'm going to play. Dude, I, I love Monster Hunter World. Oh, my God. My favorite game so far this year. It's it's all I've been... I've been playing it nonstop for like the last two weeks. It's honestly taking over my life. And, I don't, and I'm not mad at that. All right. So, let's keep going here. Need to see something amazing right now. Come on. See what I mean with the Azuna? Straight straight Photoshop, my guy. I don't know how to do that shit, Death Amongst All. I forgot we could do that on the PlayStation. I literally have never done it, though. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Yeah, that's because it's a base short print. Code 85 base short print. Your boy got that eye. Need that down payment for the whip. I see you, DL. All right, I did. I checked the code. It's code 85, which is base short print. I got this, baby. I got this. I got these. Well, Death Among Star, I don't know how to play. I don't know how to do that, the whole sharing thing. Uh, but I, I will be online later tonight whenever I get home. And, I have, dude, I have no problem sharing fucking Monster Hunter with you. If I could share it with the world, I would, bro. That game is amazing. Oh, my God, I love that game. Anyway, for the Dodgers... Corey Seager with the Deckel Edge. That's such a weird word. Deckel. Deckel. Here it is again. Like I said, these black borders are rumored to be numbered to 50. At least that's what the internets tell me. But that's a base short print. Code 85. Matt Shoemaker of the Angels. That's what I said, DL Deckel. It just it's a weird word. Like for the longest refrigerator was giving me issues. I was like, you know, I just I, I couldn't I couldn't say the word refrigerator for a long time. Alright, we'll get random, the flashback cards. We got, you know who that is, A Aaron Judge, the Judge Man. Oh, do I, Pappy? Number four to three there. Yeah, I pulled that for you, all right, Pappy. Giggity, dude, this guy looks so suspect with that picture. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think we've pulled a... Did we pull a patch out of this box? I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Victor Robles for the Nationals. The Deckel. The Deckel. There you go. Straight up base. Different teams. They've used that picture for like the last three years. For Scherzer. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right?
Come on. Wait. There's a base short print. For Alex Reyes, base short print right there, code 85. For the Cardinals, there you go. Boom. Let's see what's in the stack here. A little chromey action for Smith and Rosario of the Mets. Number to nine nine nine. I put my hand up on my head. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Oh, Tani, where you at? Well, there it was. It's Buster Posey of the Giants with a patch. And now we got the last box. Mojo to go through. So let's do it. Good luck, everybody. I mean, I also have the uh, the top loader still open. Got a 69 card there, a buyback. Could be big. From what I hear, there are autographs in those buybacks. Extremely hard to pull, of course, but word on the street is they out there. Yes, there is, Mike. Yes, there is. I think I hit one already. I could be wrong, though. No, I, I lied. Yeah, I lied. That was from Select Football that I hit a Barry Sanders auto out of. In case football is scheduled for midnight, which is about 15 minutes from now, But after this, I got to do the filler for Heritage. There you go, Michael. Speak it into existence, baby. Bellinger time. Let's go. I like that. And all right.
Well, there's a patch in here. Just get that out the way now. Justin Upton, Angels, with a patch. Now, that doesn't mean we can't get an autograph. It just means it's going to be extremely hard because of the patch that came out of there. But let's see what happens. Good luck, everybody. Got a chrome for Frazier and Andujar. Yankee rookies. Was is this like a short print? No, just a base. That's a Bellinger. The deco card. It is possible, DL. It is possible. Let's make it happen. Oh, there we go. An action shot. For the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. That's a 0 1 that lets me know it's an action shot. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. There you go. An Otani, what? An Otani rookie card? Like, are you, are you talking autograph or like just period? This is a base short print, code 85, for the Rockies right Mel Tapia. Michael, what's that Bellinger going for? Oh, you haven't seen Otani's period? Damn, dog. Let's uh let's see if we can switch up that that for you. That's a base short print for the Royals, Jason Vargas. I'm kind of decent at finding these these short prints. The color errors, that's a different story. And the the year cup, I'm pretty good at catching those two. Action shots, I got that on point. There's so many variations to this though, dag. Got a chrome for Johnny Cueto of the Giants. Come on, get us with some hotness. Get rid of that. And a deco for Rosario, the Mets.
Alrighty. Last stack. Come on, bring us home. What do we got? Wait, that's a that's like a color swap. Code zero two. Yes, it is. Team color swap. Your boy, see, your boy got that eye. I'm trying to tell you. For the Red Sox, Andrew Benintendi, the team color swap. Code zero two on the back. That's how I know. All right. And that was the break. No Otani. Sorry, D.O. Although, we're still not done. Got to open up this buyback, see what's in here. Tim Cullen of the Senators. The Senators. Who do, the Senators, who do they go to? I think the Senators are the Nationals. I would have to look at group break checklist to make sure it goes to the right team. But I'm pretty confident that it's the Nationals. Go ahead and top load that. Let's see what's in these top loaders here. Got Rice Hoskins on the back, which is a Philly. And we got three different teams on the front. A Aaron of the Yankees, Rays, and the Cardinals. So we got a random this. What do we have here? A Aaron Judge and the Yankees on the back. A White Sox, a National, and a Cubby on the front. Again, got a random that. And on the last box topper, we got Kershaw, Dodgers, Blue Jays, Twins, Nationals, Dodgers on the front. All right. We're going to random that in a bit. So this is how we're going to do this. Uh, these randoms. First, we're going to random these flashback cards is going to go to one team right so let's do that go ahead and pull my list up my randomizer and put it on the screen for you there it is let me grab all the teams because we got to random it between all teams now I'm going to roll the die if I can find it Probably like back here or something. Where's where's my uh there it is. Alright, so I'm gonna roll the die. Whatever number I roll, that's how many times I'm gonna random the list. And this is for the flashback cards. Top team in the list wins the flashbacks. Good luck. Ooh, lucky number seven. Going seven times in the random. Top team wins the flashback cards. Good luck. And the money shot seven. Boom. Going to the Blue Jays. So the Blue Jays will be receiving the flashback cards. There you go, Blue Jays. Winning a little something. Uh, no, GP. This is eBay. We will do uh, number two after encased for uh, eBay. All right. So next on the randoms, you'll notice these cards have multiple teams. Some have three. Some have two, three, three, three. Some have four. All right. Got three, two, three, four, three, three. Three, two, four, three, three, four, two, three, 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 three. 
So you'll notice two teams on the left and on the right here. And that's how we're going to do these randoms. It's either going to go to the team on the left or on the right. Very simple for this one. I'm going to roll the die. If I get an odd number, it goes to the left side. Uh, Pedro, that filler's already, uh, it's filled already, dude. Sorry, man. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and roll this thing. If I get an even number, it goes to the right side team. If I get an odd number, it goes to the left side team. Odd left, even right, odd left, even right. Good luck. The number zero, that doesn't count. The number seven, again. So it's going to the left side team. So this one will go to the Cardinals, A's, Cubs, Giants, Orioles. Let me write that down. Now, these that have three teams are going to be a little tricky because there are three teams. You're probably wondering to yourself, well, you can't do a left-right random, so how are you going to do this? Relax, Kimasabi. Your boy, Cardboard Moses, is going to lead you to the promised land. So this is how we're going to do this. Again, I'm going to pull the random up, except this time we're going to random it between three spots. It's either going to go to the left side, the middle, or the right. So we're going to type in the in the randomizer. We're going to put left, middle, and right. Since we rolled the number seven, we're going to stick with that number and go that many times in the random. Good luck. One, two. And the money shot seven. It's going to the right side team. All right. So this will go to... Marlins, Dodgers, Nationals, Brewers, Yankees, Nationals, A's, Royals, Yankees, Rays, Brewers, Brewers, Yankees, Nationals, A's, Royals, Rays, D-backs, Rangers. All right, so let me write that down on my post-it note for my sorters. And then we have these that have four different spots now for this one i know you're probably thinking well how's he gonna do this one i got you this is number one this is number two this is number three and that's number four and that's how we're gonna do that thing so we're gonna go one two three and four one two Three, four. One, two, three, four. Going seven times. Good luck. And the money shot seven. So it's going to the team in the middle on these. So this one goes to Bellinger and the Dodgers. That's a White Sox. Dodgers. And White Sox. Boom. And last, but certainly certainly not least, we're going to do, uh, do this random now for the box toppers. Now, this one's going to be a little funky. Because some of these have, like, more than one team. Like this one. Right? But for the most part, you know, it's three teams in the front and a team on the back. So that's how we're going to do this thing. We're going to go left, middle, right, and then back. In the event that we land in the middle spot, obviously these two nationals raise. This one will be random then between Dodgers nationals. All right. So let's go ahead and put our list randomizer back up on the screen. We're going to go left, middle, right, and back. The reason I'm doing back is because there is a team on the back. All right? And it's, you know, it's only fair that we also include them in the party, you know? So let's do it. We're going to go seven times. Good luck. And the money shot seven. 
All right, it's going to the middle. It's going to the middle team. So these, you know, that's a national. That's a ray. So let me write that down real quick. And now this one, we're going to random between the Dodgers and the Nationals. Now, it's only right that we give the Nationals two spots because they're there twice. So we got Dodgers, Nats, and Nats. Going three times. I'm sorry, seven times in the random. Good luck. Two, three, four, five, six in the money shot. Seven. It's going to the Dodgers. Wow. There you go, Dodgers. Winning something. So those are all the randoms I had to do. Now, uh, now a little recap. A little recap mojo. About to do that now. So we had we had some patches. Justin Upton Angels, Buster Posey Giants, John Lester Cubs, and there's another one in here. Here it is. For the Rockies, Charlie Blackman. And I found uh, I found quite a few uh, short prints and whatnot. We'll show those off in a little bit. This is for the Senators, Tim Cullen. I'm pretty sure the Senators are the Washington not, uh, Nationals, but I will check the group break checklist to make sure this goes to the correct team. All right? So we have this, which is a team color swap of Ben and Tendi Red Sox. Base short print Royals, Jason Vargas. Base short print Raymel Tapia Rockies. Action shot for uh, Bellinger and the Dodgers. Base short print Cardinals, Alex Reyes. Base short print Matt Shoemaker Angels. Uh, I think that's, yeah. Base uh, short print for Scooter Gannett Reds. An action shot of Chris Bryant Cubs. A um, base short print Antonio Sensatella Rockies. Action shot Francisco Lindor Indians. And a base short print of Ryan Braun and the Brewers. And that was the break, guys. Unfortunately, no Otani there. But, uh,. We gonna we're gonna do another case here later later tonight. PYT style. Oh, I can't wait. That was the break though, guys. 2018 Heritage Baseball. Four box break number three, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.